Rocky the Musical. Das Musical. Listen, like 80% of me obviously still wishes that it was in German. Or like I just want to see it in German. It would definitely add to the gravitas of the piece. <laughs> I would definitely enjoy seeing it in German, I think. I loved it. I loved it. I loved it. It was so much fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I just thought it was fun and great and entertaining and spectacle. Yeah. And singing. Yeah. It was great. It took me a while to get into like the tone of it. I think just because Rocky is supposed to be kind of a, a like dumb sort of obviously winning character. Not stupid, but just a little dumb. Yeah. <laughs> um, and it, I couldn't tell at first if we were supposed to be laughing at him or if he was sort of aware of that. And then it sort of became clear that he's sort of, he's a pretty self-aware guy yeah, and he totally. gets it. Um, and I thought they did that really well. Yeah. yeah. Thomas Mann. Yeah. He's dumb, but you love him for it. Yeah. You know, because he tries so hard and he does know that he's not smart. But like the like the jokes that he makes up mm -hmm. for Adrian are like so cute because they're terrible. Yeah. But he's like, he like loves her so much that he's like, oh Adrian, I wrote you a joke. I made it up myself. Like he sat at yeah. home in his dingy yeah. little apartment and was like, what do you think of this, Turtles? I'm going to think of this joke for Adrian because I got to win her. Like, it's so cute. I love it. <laughs> It's so romantic. I feel like so many things about me would mean that I would not like this show for a lot of reasons. Yeah. And I don't know what it specifically it is about this show that makes me as like such a crazy feminist, like okay with everything that's happening. But I seriously was like, this is so romantic. Like mm -hmm. I'm like so on board with it all. Yeah. <laughs> like, one of the things I love so much from the movie is, like, that scene where he comes to the pet shop and is telling her jokes and everything. Mm -hmm. Like, from sitting further back, you can't really see, but, like, and I'm assu I haven't sit close, sat close enough to really know that Margo's doing this, but I trust her. I think she's a great actress, and I'm sure she's <laughs> playing this. Um, in the movie, when he says that shell shock joke, she's like, that's really funny, Rocky. Like, she <laughs> smiles to herself. Like, she has her back turned to him, too, I think. And, like, but she sort of, like, snickers to herself. And then it's like, mm, I'm shy. <laughs> um, but it's adorable. I am love wins, man. Mm. I root for them. I literally had a moment when at their, like, Christmas thing, right before her brother shows mm -hmm. up, where I was like, man... I really need like a big one more big number from her, and then it happened like right oh then. And, and I was like, that "Thank song you." Was amazing. I loved it. I thought it was amazing. It was amazing. It was great. She was fantastic. Yes, Margo. Like, what? Welcome it. to Broadway, bitch. She's incredible. She's like Broadway. You're welcome. Yes. I mean, <laughs> she's awesome and gorgeous and voice. Mm -hmm. She knew it all. I can't wait. I'm already dreamcasting you and everything. I want to hear her voice and more things. I want to hear her sing. If it doesn't stop raining in German. I want to hear everyone sing say, everything in German. German. Oh. We've already talked about Margot. We obviously should talk about Andy Carroll. He's amazing. He's amazing. He sounds great. He sounds really good. And it's a lot, so I think he's good. Um, I think absolutely the most impressive moment of the entire show is during his first semi I want song, I would call it. He does a chin up while maintaining mm. a note. Yes, sustaining just sounds great. It was I literally like my jaw was like I was like, oh my god, Andy Carl, what is happening? It was so impressive. All the stuff he's doing. He's all beefed up, Man. ladies and gentlemen. Like, he is Rocky. He's been doing a great job in great roles that have been featured, mm -hmm. um, but fantastic. Mm -hmm. And now he's finally getting his shot at the big time. Oh my god. It's a true Rocky story. Mm -hmm. We're going to say Rocky story now, not Cinderella story. Yeah, it's a Rocky story. It's a Rocky story. Mm -hmm. It's a true Rocky story. Also because Rocky works for it, Cinderella just kind of walks into it. Rocky <laughs> does work. He works hard. Mm -hmm. He's a hard-working guy. Listen, we just have to give some time to the set. 
Like, I haven't, like, literally <laughs> gone through and thought about every single musical I've ever seen. But I'm going to go out there and say that it is the most beautiful, intricate, gorgeously amazing set that I've ever seen. It's so beautiful. It works so well for the show. And you literally are like, where did they keep all that set? That's definitely true. There's like a lot of moving pieces and a lot of different locations where in a lot of other musicals when there are different locations it's done very like haphazardly yeah. with thin pieces and chairs. Every <laughs> single like set was like a f set. <laughs> it was like a real place that they were in. It was amazing and I loved how they used the boxing ring mm. especially because I felt like in the first act it was sort of there and then it was sort of um, you know, creating space above the smaller the apartment sets and sort of just, you know, keeping you from feeling like there was empty space. And then in the second act when he's training, the boxing ring is like ominously hovering around them a lot. Like I don't know if you notice, especially getting closer and closer, so there's that scene towards the end where they watch clips of Apollo. Mm -hmm. And it's projected onto the boxing yeah. ring, and then oh, yeah, because up like until this, right? the end, yeah, it's literally like up there, sort of like hovering, and like you can kind of see it goes back a bit, but it's totally like in mm. shadows, but you can still tell that it's there, and it's literally like this beautiful symbol of like the, you know the forthcoming fight that he's putting everything in his life to, and it's like this boxing ring hovering above his head the whole show. It's being brilliant. I didn't notice it. Oh, I did. I was busy watching the scenes. I just I it really <laughs> added a nice layer to the complexity of the character in the second act. Let's talk about my one true love musical theater composer team. Andrew Lloyd team. Webber. <laughs> Aaron of Flaherty. Tim Rice. <sighs> I thought the songs were fantastic. I thought the songs worked really well for the show that it is. And we were talking about Aaron's and Flaherty where it's so difficult to compare their works to each other because mm. they write so specifically for each show. Yeah. If you played this musical and Once on this Island and Ragtime to me back to back without me knowing who wrote them, I would not think they were written by the same Absolutely people. Absolutely not. Because this is what I was, I was thinking about this very deeply today actually because I you know, was discussing Rocky with someone who did not enjoy it so much mm -hmm. and who was criticizing the lyrics specifically saying that they were like dumb lyrics. And I was like, if you think they're dumb or like you think the rhymes are too simple or something like that, that is because Lynn writes to like the soul of the character. I don't think it would make sense to have Rocky be like singing lyrics that were too complicated for mm -hmm. him as a person to like understand and that's also like like what you said like they write for the characters they write for the set they write for this like what's actually happening and that's how like the melodies for are so different like he writes these amazing melodies that only make sense for like specific characters mm -hmm. which is what's so beautiful about it can we talk about eric anderson's announcer voice <laughs> we can talk about everything that eric anderson does oh my god he's great in this show it's a small part but like it's excellent i liked him as the announcer it was very authentic mm -hmm. i liked his like italian it's like you're gonna like, break his thumbs yeah, yeah 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 a monster he was good i loved the costumes they were so simple and so perfect for the mm -hmm. characters, and I thought, because obviously it takes place in like the 70s, yeah. Adrian's finale outfit I loved because mm -hmm. it was beautifully paying homage to the outfit that Adrian in the movie wears. It was the red and the white, and it was all there, but it was yeah. like in the hat, but it was like flip flopped in the coloring scheme, and like she was wearing the pretty red dress that she had bought for Rocky for the holidays. Like, I really liked it. And she, like Margot just looked so cute. Mm -hmm. So cute in those hats. I think it works better for her character because she's kind of mousy, but it I, I did notice along with this show in a lot of period pieces mm. the ingenue character is always dressed pretty timelessly mm -hmm. and then all the, the like lady friend characters are okay. like in the seventies. Yeah. I'm wearing hot true. pants and, but Adrian wouldn't wear hot pants. It's true. But, I don't know, they could But, like, in the movie, she wears that 
kick-ass ruffled shirt in the finale. Mm. Like this awesome, so 70s. And like, listen, I, I understand that like the worry is that if the costumes are too extremely time sensitive or whatever, I mm. guess, that it might take you out for a moment because you would have been like, what is she without the 70s? But if she had been rocking that white button down ruffled shirt, I would have been so into it. Yeah, well, and then by then, I think we've all realized it's, right, the, 70s. Know it's the 70s. We know the 70s. Oh my god, Terrence Archie, who we now know also speaks German. Guys, he did the show in Germany too. He's the only cast member, to my knowledge, um, who played it both in German and in English. What? Is he like an army brat or something? I don't know, but he's amazing. I want to know That's everything so about him. Also, congrats. Whoa! Back. <laughs> Listen, I have to say how impressed I was by the ensemble members who were playing the boxers in like those gym scenes who were like beefcake, but I mean, ripped. I mean, how exciting for those guys though, because they're probably not the dancing type of right. ensemble members, um, but they're like ripped and they're Broadway ensemble people. And most of the time, they're probably like covered up in suits and, and like, they're like boring Whoa! stuff and whatever. They're like going more and more and more <laughs> in the in the ghost ensemble. And he, I mean, that was those were nice scenes. Well done, gentlemen. The entrances of both of them. Oh my god! And his especially, and those ladies. Oh god, they were amazing. Those girls were stomping. incredible. Yes, they were. They were literally stomping. Stomping as if this were a drag runway. Yes, it was. Like, it was. fantastic. I Both of their entrances for the final fight. First of all, everything about the final fight well, is obviously. like so f***ing exciting. Uh, everyone agrees. Like literally, yeah, literally everyone, everyone agrees. agrees. Even the people who are like, I didn't like it because I hate everything are like, but that final fight is like the best thing I've ever seen because it is. <laughs> it's so, and it, it also, again, like the set, I'm literally like dying mm -hmm. because I can't even believe what's happening with the set. No, we sure, see sure, sure. a lot yeah. of theater and it's like that Ben Brantley effect where you're like, does nothing impress you anymore? But like, I'm still impressed by lots of things, but I think there's a lot of things that I'm like still impressed with in some ways, but in other ways, like I'm like, I know how they did that and it's oh. cool, but I'm not like, my jaw's not on the floor. And this was like another time where I went into the theater and was like, oh my God, how'd they do that? It's magic, it's beautiful, it's theater magic. Yeah. And it yeah. made me feel like I was a f***ing kid again. Do your own video where you review the cast recording in German. <laughs>